Kohalo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Okay, um, just wanted to go into uh, the topic of, um, you know, being free, you know, because when we uh, seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we seek to be free, okay, um, and be with the Lord, be up under his uh, jurisdiction, free from the obligation of the heathen, okay, from the wicked. Okay, to be unrestrained, you know, um, not restricted, not bound, okay, not not to be in bonds by another people. And that's what we um, are proclaiming, and that's what Esau is afraid of, you know. He's afraid of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man being free, okay, um, basically not having the answer to the other nations, okay, so with that we're going to go into this little topic real quick and it's going to be a quick video now as you can see on the screen is edamonline.com uh, okay so we go into the word free okay and this is where I want to focus in on real quick um now it says uh, meaning clear of obstruction it says it is from mid 13th century sense of unrestrained in movement okay it's from um the 13th century of animals loosed at liberty wild uh, leet 14th century meaning liberal not paris uh paris um, Salakia. Parsimonious, not parsimonious. Um, it's a sense of uh, characterized by liberty of action or expression, uh, not holding strictly to rule or form, not not subject to foreign rule or despotism. Okay, so you know. It was just we're looking to be free, man. Now this is what the scriptures say. Let's go into the scriptures. This is I'm gonna start at John eight and thirty. It says, as he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Yahweh Shah to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye indeed Shalakia, then are then are ye my disciples indeed. And he shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. OK, so if we continue in his word, OK, then it's going to be shown that we are truly the disciples of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. OK, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh mean, uh, being the most high. OK, and Yahweh Shah mean, meaning uh, the son, which Yahweh Shah means the deliverer. All right, the most high as he is means he is okay the most high sent Yahweh Shah for men to believe on him that Yahweh he is because he is the one that's doing these things he is the one that's going to make us free and we're going to be made free through Yahweh Shah because Yahweh Shah have been given uh, basically the, the keys to the kingdom of heaven okay and believing in him and if we continue, okay, in what Yahweh Shah has said 2,000 years ago, we are indeed his, his disciples. And ye shall know the truth, this is verse 32, and the truth shall make you free. So this truth ultimately is going to make us free. Right now, you know, we're free, okay, in the spirit. We don't have the, we don't have the bonds of being mental slaves. Why? Because we have the understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, but ultimately we're going to be made free. Okay? We're going to be made free. We're going to be we're going to have access to unrestricted movement. Okay? We're going to have access to uh to the to the other uh planets out there. Okay? That Esau dreams of uh going to. But we're going to have access of access to it. Okay? Now let's go to the next scripture. This is um Isaiah 51 and 14. It says the captive the captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed 
and that he should not die in the pit nor that his bread should fail okay so we're the captive exiles hastening to be loosed okay we want to be loosed and that he should not die in the pit and what is the pit the pit is a, a, a Babylon the Great okay also known as America United States of America nor that his bread should fail because it's going to come a time in the United States of America okay in the pit okay because it's the, the pit is going to turn into a, a cesspool of death okay and during the hour of martial law when the society collapses the global economic collapse they already calling for a recession okay we want to be uh, uh, loose okay we don't want to die in the pit because there's going to be a lot of judgment going out okay at the same time okay in the, in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the same time period all right there's going to be mass judgment going out also mass death okay going out in in Babylon in the pit and people's bread is going to fail you know so you know that that's what's coming now this is um Genesis 27 and 40 and it's talking about the blessing of Esau because when you go into the blessing Isaac gave which we know who Isaac is okay Isaac gave Esau okay the blessing and this was his blessing this is uh Genesis 27 and 39 says and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above and by thy sword shall thou live So that's how we know who Esau is Because Esau lives by the sword Now the sword is an instrument of death Okay It says and by the sword And by the and by thy sword Shall thou live Possessive Okay Thy sword Okay Shall thou live And shall serve thy brother Alright so who was served by the sword Okay, of Esau, Jacob. Okay, it says, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And right now, Esau has the dominion over the earth. So it was a time period that, you know, Esau would live by his sword, he would serve his brother with the sword. And in the process, in the process of time, or at a appointed time, when he had the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So the Lord is getting ready to break the yoke, okay, that Esau had, okay, and he used it. He used the sword too, okay. They have the dominion, all right, and it's, we're coming into the time that that yoke shall be broken off thy neck. It says, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Esau. And that's what Esau is getting ready to, to attempt a genocide. Okay, of um, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, because I just, I did, I did a video talking about his uh suicide rate okay amongst um a lot of those Edomites in West Virginia and uh Pennsylvania and you know different parts of the Appalachian area Kentucky and um they're losing steam basically they 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 they're not they can't re they can't reproduce uh the amount of people as much as they're uh losing all right uh which brings me to the next scripture this is uh, the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. Okay. Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. Start at verse 6. It says, um, because we're talking about the time of uh, Jacob's trouble. Okay. When um, the yoke, okay, that Esau has on Jacob's neck is going to be burst, but it's going to come with a time of trouble, a time of great travail. Okay. It says, As she now and see whether a man doth travail with child, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail 
and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, and Jacob is going to be saved out of it, and that's when, when the time of freedom comes, okay, or the time that we're going to be free. It says, For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Okay? So all these nations, they're not going to be able to dictate to us where we can go and where we can't go. Okay? Going back to Genesis, the 27th chapter, it says, um, when Esau basically had the dominion, okay, of ruling with the sword and serving his brother Jacob with the sword, the Lord was going to, uh, um, Isaac said, look, that thou shall break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay, and that's why Esau hated Jacob. Because Esau knew that this time was going to come where the yoke would be broken. All right. And that's why <laughs> Esau's the, the way he is. That's why he wants to basically kill Jake. That's why it's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. All right. But he shall be delivered out, out of it. But two thirds of our people, they ain't going to make it. This is Zechariah 9 and 11. It says, As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. All right, because, look, there's no, there's no, the only water that you're going to drink of is the water that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has, and that's that living water. All right, but in the pit, there is no water, okay? There is no water. These people out here are thirsty, all right? And only a certain amount of money can, uh, a certain amount of men, Shalakia, a certain amount of men, okay, can drink of that water. All right, and, and what is the water? All right, let's go to, uh, I think it's John 6. Is it John 6 or 6, 7? Let's see real quick. Nah, it's John 7, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, John 7 and 38. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit. All right, because the Spirit is that living water, okay? All right, it says, But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believed on him should receive. Okay, so the men that believe on him is going to be able to drink of that water, okay? It says, For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because that Yahweh Shah was not yet glorified. All right? Going back to Zechariah 9 and 11, it says, As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, wherein is no water. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today... Do I declare that I will render double unto thee? Hey, so since Esau, okay, Esau eat him. Okay, they served thy brother with the sword. Guess what? The Lord said he's gonna he's gonna uh, render double. Okay, he's gonna render double unto thee. It says when I have bent when I have bent Judah for me, fill the bowl with Ephraim. And raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. All right. The sons, O Greece, represents the Edomites, okay? And made thee as the sword of a mighty man. So in order to get our freedom, it's going to be through war, man, okay? And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah. All right. So these these are prophecies that, that get ready to come to pass. All right. Basically, uh, the uh, so-called this is the prophecy of the northern kingdom okay coming back together with the southern kingdom Ephraim being the so-called Puerto Ricans okay and the other uh, the other uh, northern kingdom up under them which includes the uh, Mexicans the Dominicans okay the uh, the so-called Dominicans the Mexic so-called Mexicans all right the the, the people of um uh, Cuba uh, you got uh, Manassa which is Manassa. Uh, you got uh, 
uh, Zebulun, okay, the people of um, you know, Panama, and you got Asher. Basically, those uh, Spanish-speaking people, okay, are going to come up, come up under the um, the uh, Northern Kingdom head, which is the Ephraimites, the so-called Puerto Rican. All right, which the the, the Puerto Rican and uh, so-called Puerto Rican and uh, the Judite, okay, so-called Negro, okay, they're going to come together. All right, for you, uh, for you foolish Israelites that say that the um. The northern kingdom is not the northern kingdom. Northern kingdom, okay, aren't aren't, aren't Spanish speaking, okay, people, uh, Indians, okay, of of the uh, north. I mean, um, the Caribbean, um, Central and and South America. All right, the Lord is going to basically uh, bring us together according to um, the book of Ezekiel, the thirty seventh chapter, where it says the two sticks going to come together, all right, and He's going to turn us into a sword of a mighty man. All right, the scriptures say that the scriptures also say that uh Judah and Israel were oppressed together. All right. It says, and the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning, and the Lord power shall blow the trumpet and shall go with whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones. And they shall drink and make a noise as though as through wine, and they shall be filled like bowls and as the corners of the altar. Hey, so Esau is afraid, man. Esau Edom is afraid of the tribes coming back together. Okay. You know, now there was an example um on a um just uh just thinking about it, uh I just was watching um what is it called? Uh my man Nori. On um the dude Nori on uh Drink Champs and he had uh Freeway Ricky Ross, which is a crack kingpin um in the eighties in, in Los Angeles, California. And he had Griselda uh Blanco's uh son. Okay, which Griselda Blanco, she was of the Northern Kingdom. She was uh, um she was known as the Cocaine Queen. I right, back in the uh eighties, okay, when the um Esau basically was using drugs to fund his uh, foreign wars down there in Central and South America, okay, and he was making a lot of money off the uh, drug trade, okay. But um, you know, you, basically, you have that, you know, that spirit of coming to, coming together between uh, Jake, all right, you know, the tribes. Just you know, when you take a look at that, that was a good, that was a a good segment. It was 144 minutes, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> now, last scripture I'm gonna uh, leave off with. This is um King David's um army because remember King David um became captain over men, and this is the um th this is these are the characteristics of the men in in King David's army. Now, this is our uh, First Samuel's 22 and one. It says David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave of Dulam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. And everyone that was in distress, and everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was discontented gathered themselves unto him, and he became captain over them, and there were with him about 400 men. So these are the type of men that's going to come into the truth. Okay, you're going to have men that are in distress, men that are in debt, and men that are discontented, okay, with the, with the current circumstances and this current lifestyle, okay? You're going to have men that's going to come in with these characteristics just like they came and followed after David and made David King David a captain, okay, over them. And what were they doing? They were seeking freedom. They were seeking something that, that, that was, was better than their current state. Okay, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, okay, we're seeking something better. We're seeking freedom, okay? And we have it through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's why Esau is going to come so hard down upon us. All right, but we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that once we're tried and tested, according to the scriptures, once the test is complete, the Lord is going to deliver us and make us free, okay? Meaning, you know, we're not, we're going we're going to be unrestrained in movement. 
Okay. Uh, we're when we're gonna be uh not in bondage. Okay, we're gonna be noble. <laughs> like you said here, noble, joyful. Alright. Not in bondage. Alright, so with that I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Kakudash, double honesty, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh Shalom to you brothers that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.